Hi, this is Raven. I had a request from subscriber Dread Roberts, and he asked um, if I could help him with a prison escape scenario. So basically, he wants to prevent the AI from shooting the player when they try and escape. Um, so this is what I'm going to cover now in this video. Uh, the map is Livonia um, and I've just found a compound here that's got a wall all the way or almost all the way around just to save me creating like a prison environment. Um, you can see surrounding it are some triggers um, and if you notice that I've put some uh, triggers in the tree lines sort of going around and tree lines here but near the, the fence um, that's because I thought um, if the guards saw a prisoner trying to run into the woods it's obvious that they're trying to get up to mischief so I thought if they sort of disappear into the woods that's cause for concern and, and you'll end up getting shot uh, same as if obviously you try and leave the gate so what I've done on here just to give the subscriber some options um, there's two ways that the AI will attack you that's the first one is if you try and leave the compound as you can see by the triggers the second is if you pick up a weapon so um, we'll go to our player here um, what I've used as a player is a survivor because when you drag the survivor in they've got no armor so it's just easy to start off with because in as a prisoner you wouldn't have any armor or backpacks or anything like that so but we have to give them a weapon to start off with because the code won't work otherwise so i've given him a weapon so i'll just go in and show you what i mean so edit loadout weapon and i've given him this MXC 6.5 doesn't matter what gun you give him it really doesn't um, I've just given this one because I sort of know the, the code off the top of my head and the code I'm referring to is if you see the little um, pop-up the tool tip and it, it tells you what the gun is that's an MXC 6.5 millimeters but underneath it gives you what the gun is called in the editor so it's a rifle underscore MXC underscore F that's the bit you need to remember so if I go to something else, let's go to this one, you can see it's a rifle underscore MX underscore SW underscore F. Yeah, so that is important. So whatever gun you give him, you need to know what that says. And we'll go back out. So we'll go to the trigger that he's standing in. And I've called the trigger drop gun because that's basically what we're going to do here. So he, he has to start with a gun. And we're going to drop it straight away. Um, so player, remove weapon, and this is why you need to remember um, what the weapon's called. So a rifle underscore mxc underscore f. So it's going to remove that. Now this is the most important bit. You have to give it a delay. So I'll give it a one second delay uh, because when the mission starts, this will automatically fly. Um, and if it's on a zero. Um, it sometimes just doesn't get registered um, and the guys will shoot you because this hasn't taken place so give it one second delay and so when the mission starts after one second he'll drop that weapon then we go to the next one this trigger will activate when the drop gun trigger is activated and then after one second so get again I've give it one second delay you see one which is what I've called the player so call in whatever you want join silent group west so basically we're telling him to go to the enemy side okay now on the third trigger I've got here um, on activation uh, you see one or whatever you call him set captive to false and on deactivation set captive to true now you don't have to have the deactivation bit, I've just thought that would be 
sort of something to play with. So basically, if the player picks up a weapon, so a primary, a secondary, or a handgun, their captive state is going to go false. So the AI will attack you. If you drop the gun um, on deactivation, so dropping it, it will set your captive state to true. So you can have it if like you ever pick up a gun, um, that's it. They'll always try and shoot you and you just get rid of this bit here. But I thought it'd give you opportunity to sort of go around and shoot someone. Okay, so, um, and then each of the triggers that go around the outside are just the same. So any player triggers it. Um, remember to um, put all your triggers on repeat repeatable if you want them to sort of have a play about in and out of the triggers um, and again it's just set captive false set captive true on activation deactivation and then you just overlap the triggers all, all the way around your compound um, inside this building I've just put like a little armory so I can show you so I've just put a couple of weapons there so I can show you in a minute and a guy in here okay um, so that that's it. I'll show you um, a quick demo of it in a minute. I will demo it, go into the into the woods and, and maybe up to the gate and see what they do. Uh, and I'll demo sort of getting picking the gun up. Um, and what I'll do is I'll put all of the triggers in the comments of this video, so you can literally just copy and paste as usual. Okay, hope that was helpful. I'll just show you what we got. Okay, so he starts with your gun, drops the gun. So now he's a prisoner and they won't attack him. So I'll run up to, I'll go into this guy in here, it's closer. There you go. So he's not, not attacking me or bothered that I'm there. I go in here, I think that's where I put the guns, yeah. So I pick up a gun. Um, set it to let's see if he tries to shoot me. So see he shot me there. Okay, so let's try that again and I'll show you the uh, going to the border. Okay, so let's go up to this gate here. Oh, I should have turned the... Um... Right, so see, I'm right up the tree line and these guys are not bothered at all. If I ran in here, then we'll see what they do. So there you go, um, and if you actually manage to get back out again, they'll they won't shoot you. Um, okay, so I hope it was helpful. Good luck.